So today we're talking about the latest FC25 news. We're going to be talking about Rush today because that is the next deep dive coming, confirmed by EA already. I've got a few things to say about that mode. The career mode reveal is coming this week as well, so it's only a few days away now, and some other things as well. If you want to know everything about FC25, make sure you subscribe because this channel covers everything. If you want to use the best players and dominate foot, you're going to need a lot of coins. Check out today's sponsor, MuleFactory.com, who offer foot coins with comfort trade. Use my link in the description and my code VAPEXFC. C5 for 5% off. So this was an interesting find by RE FIFA. In this photo of Zidane in FC25, you can see one of the picture frames has a photo of Danny Williams, Alex Hunter and Kim Hunter together. This was a photo from EA's website back in FIFA 19. This could be a little teaser suggesting that these characters are going to be in the game. I don't think there's going to be a full on journey mode, but they might be involved in FC25. It's definitely something to look out for. The FC25 crew mode reveal is coming this week. I've got the official date here and it's going to be coming out on the 2nd of August at 3 p.m. UTC time. You might want to convert that to your local area. But either way, it's coming out this week, so only a few days to go now. And then Ultimate Team is coming out next week on the 7th of August at 3 p.m. UTC time. But there is a deep dive coming out today, and that is the Rush Deep Dive. This is the new mode. It has been confirmed by EA. It's coming out on the 30th of July for me at 1 a.m., but for you it might be the 29th of July. Just go on YouTube. It'll tell you what time it's coming out. There's going to be a trailer, and of course, the massive notes about the mode as well. It says, Team Up in Rush, a 5v5 mode, and a new way to play with friends in Football Ultimate team clubs and kickoff it's also going to be in career mode with fast paced small sided gameplay i'm going to go over everything we know about rush so far so this is basically integrated in all core modes in fc25 if it wasn't i feel like this mode would have died pretty quickly as well volta was not integrated into career mode and ultimate team and it died pretty quickly this time they're not making the same mistake twice the new 5v5 rush experience offers a new way to play and win together with smaller squads to build more time on the ball and new custom designed communication tools rush keeps you closer to the action you're going to be able to play it in ultimate Ultimate Team, build your dream 5 aside team with friends, each bringing your favorite player item to control and compete for rewards in 5v5 matches. Clubs Rush, creating a more social, intimate and engaging experience in clubs. Rush allows you to drop the AI players from your squad and take on the world with the teammates you trust the most. Every win contributes a victory point to your club's tally and improves your individual Rush rank, taking you one step closer to exciting seasonal rewards. 5v5 kickoff rush. Small sided matches introduce fast paced gameplay to kick off in 5v5 rush. Select your favorite club or nation and battle it out against AI or friends locally. You can play rush in crew mode, but it's only with your youth academy players against other youth teams. These are tournaments that happen every two months and consist of three games each. Play with these youth players at their current overalls or at their projected full potentials. Rush is included in all platforms of FC25, so whether you play on next gen, old gen, Switch or PC, you're going to get the Rush mode. Playable across four modes, kickoff, ultimate team, clubs and career mode. Rush replaces Volta, but Volta still has a 3v3 match option in kickoff. Matches last seven minutes with a further two minutes and 20 seconds of golden goal if scores are level. A penalty shootout settles the match if things are still level after golden goal. It is a five-a-side mode, but the goalkeepers are AI controlled. No fixed positions. Everyone can run around where they want to. All Rush matches occur in a Nike-themed custom-built stadium. The stadium is shaped like the Mercurial Boots. It has colorful drone shows and environmental effects. It's a smaller pitch size, but still has corners, throw-ins, and full-sized goals. Rush uses the same 11v11 gameplay, but has its own rules. Rush kickoffs are players running to the center circle as the ball is launched into play. There are offsides, but only when you step inside the final third of the pitch. No red cards. Blue cards are given out for serious fouls, resulting in a one-minute sin bin for the player. The time is reduced by 15 seconds for each opposition goal scored within that time frame. Two yellow cards result in a blue card. The penalties are 1v1 against the keeper. You start on the final third line and run towards the keeper, trying to score a goal. At the moment, I don't really care for Rush too much. It's not something people really wanted to see in FC25. I think if they didn't incorporate this mode into the main modes of the game, like Crew Mode Ultimate Team, this mode would die pretty quickly, like Volta did. I can see myself only playing Rush in career mode to test out the youth players. I don't think I'm going to be playing this mode much. In the trailer here, you can see some sort of gameplay engine footage. The players run onto a podium, they jump off, and you can see the ground that the Rush games get played in. It's sort of like a Nike-themed stadium. There's going to be drone shows, and there's also going to be the penalty shootout, which is like a 1v1 against the keeper. Let me know what you think of Rush so far. So I found this article on IGN. It was written by Wesley, 
and it's about how the FC25 developers are welcoming a new true competitor. It says here that the developers of FC25 have welcomed genuine competition in the soccer video game space amid rumors of a new FIFA game entering the market. EA Sports ditched the license in 2022, but the FIFA series is set to return with a different developer with 2K heavily rumored to take on the license. During an FC25 reveal event at Vancouver, IGN asked the line producer on the Ultimate Team mode and the game design director on Ultimate Team if they'd welcome the challenge of a new FIFA game coming from a major AAA publisher. Yes, they said. As creatives, it's always interesting to see how other people are approaching the same problem spaces that we're approaching, how they are interpreting football football how they want to solve the same things for other players and I don't know it energizes me as a football fan myself I think it can only be a great thing for our players in the community IGN also spoke with lead gameplay producer Sam Rivera who echoed his colleagues comments we welcome competition he said I think it's good for everyone to see what other simulation engines can do what I can tell you is that creating a deep sim experience like a football sim experience takes a long time it takes many years of polishing balancing we literally every year check in thousands of changes based on community feedback and improvements you need to build it over years so what we have done over the last 15 20 years for us we're very happy with our game and will continue so yeah that's ea's comments on the competition they're welcoming competition but what do you really want them to say anyway don't forget you can get fc24 ultimate team rewards by watching the deep dives for fc25 all you have to do is link your youtube and ea account together tune into the fc25 deep dive youtube premiere Watch three plus minutes when the premiere goes live, and then you can earn the FC24 rewards. With each deep dive, there's one reward, and that is a premium gold players pack, which is untradeable. Obviously, there's three left to go, Rush, Karimo, and Ultimate Team. If you do complete all these objectives here, there is another reward that EA will give you, and that is one draft token for FC24 Ultimate Team. If you don't know how to link your EA and YouTube account together, I'll leave this screenshot here. You can pause it. You do have to watch the premiere live, though. You can't watch it on replay, and also it might take up to 24 hours to get your reward as well. Vinny Jr. is going to get his signature penalty run style in FC25 as well. The last thing I want to take a look at today is an article from mirror.co.uk. It was written by Lewis who said, I played FC25 early and it has nice new features, but copy and paste gameplay is a big concern. So in this build, Lewis was able to play rush kickoff and regular kickoff and FC IQ tactics were the biggest change and he called it fantastic. Lewis said that they were excited to try the player roles feature and put them to the test. On paper, it sounded like a huge deal, like a tactician's dream but unfortunately it didn't seem to make any big impact in game. This is interesting because EA hypes up the FC IQ tactics, the new player roles feature, but it looks like it doesn't really change the gameplay that much. Lewis also says, away from the tactics, I was also left frustrated by the overall gameplay and how similar it felt to FC24. I played a few games of FC25 in between games of FC24 kickoff to compare the two and they genuinely felt identical. A few differences were visible and I think the biggest was the passing. Sprinting was also extremely sensitive, especially defending. But apart from this, gameplay felt much like it does in FC24 and this is a big concern ahead of the release of the game. The Volta game mode will not feature in FC25. EA has now developed the Rush mode, but in terms of gameplay it's basically Volta 2.0 and it left me underwhelmed. Rush is a 5v5 mode. In kickoff and manager crew mode, you will control the entire team. And it might be because I only got to try it out in kickoff, but Rush just felt boring to play. It sounds like Rush is not going to be that good of a mode. I liked the addition of new commentators. Okay, so we might see some new commentary. The new stadium was also nice and the drone show was nice. But away from that, the gameplay wasn't anything special. And that's pretty much it for today. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe for all the latest FC25 news. And hit the thumbnail in the middle to check out some new features coming to FC25.